That one, yep. Okay, so close. Okay, next petition is 1073. It's by Tom Minogue calling for the Scottish Parliament to investigate and establish the reasons for the apparently disproportionate number of Roman Catholics in Scottish prisons. Again, we've had a chance to discuss this uh, a number of occasions in the committee, and we've had a chance to look at options that are available to explore some of the points raised by the petitioner. So can I have comments from members how we wish to deal with the petition? We also have the, the representative from Spice Graham is here with us this afternoon to uh, maybe respond to any points raised by members. Okay. Okay. Nigel? Mr. Convener, we have, of course, uh, talked about this in between, and I'm conscious that there's been some email correspondence um, which may represent uh, the belief that if ever, if ever we talk off the record, then we're doing awful things. I think it's worth pointing out that we were not. We were just enabling ourselves over a cup of coffee to work out what on earth we might have the option of doing. Um, I'm therefore delighted that uh, the representative from Spice is here. I think the conclusion that we, that we drew was that we didn't want anything that was terribly long-winded um, and we really just wanted to research the data that were already available to try and get some clues as to uh, what was happening on the current record through the criminal justice system. And it might be convenient that it would be helpful if, if maybe the representative from Spice give us some feedback as to what might now be possible, please, because I think that might help us to make a decision about where we go. Before I invite Graham, is there any particular points that members would wish to raise that perhaps Graham could address also in K Bill? And then Robin. Yeah, I was unable to, to, to come to the, the, the private session, but I take uh, my colleague Nigel Don's point that nothing untoward happened at that private session. I uh, accept that absolutely. Can I say more seriously that uh, my recollection is that at the uh, previous committee or the, uh, where we uh, discussed this, it was thought that we needed to be very focused in terms of any research that may, may ask SPICE uh, to, to undertake. And I'm wondering, perhaps, if uh, a colleague from SPICE could uh, tell us about the focus that uh, they are suggesting. Yeah, thanks. And Robin? Um, yes, I, I think we also identified that um, uh, one of the things that ought to come out of this research is, do we need to do more research? And if that were the outcome, then obviously we would uh, want to commission more research. It might be, of course, that uh, uh, we come up with uh, a conclusion that all the figures we need are there. But nevertheless, we have to keep a very open mind on what the result of that initial round of research would be. <coughs> the research would be quite important as well, because we're getting quite far through this Parliament. And if this particular committee was to be able to discuss the results of any research, it would need to be a fairly short time frame. Okay. So, with the wisdom of Solomon, we pass over to Graham and the space. Um, I have to say, Bill, I attended the, the meeting, the informal meeting, and nothing untoward was said or happened at that meeting. Um, from our point of view in space, we have to be guided by the committee as, a, as to what it is that they want to examine. Um, the discussion that we had previously was that instead of going for a full-blown report into the issues that the petition raises straight off the bat, that it might be more prudent to do a literature review of what's actually out there at the moment in terms of offender demographics and prisoner demographics in Scotland and in other parts of the UK. I think at that point, if we did a literature review, which would be a short scale, maybe three months project, we could ask in the research specification or the proposal that the academics who undertake that research come back and say there is uh, you know, there is scope for further research into the particular issues that the petition raises, or it comes back and says, we feel that what we found in the literature review throws up other results, and it may well be that you, you might be going down a blind alley. We can, we can do that in the research specification, but from the, the discussion that we had, I think the, the, the members felt that a literature review to find out what's out there now would be the, would be the best way forward. Thank you, Gil. The time scale is, if, if, that's, if that's what the committee decides, we then have to put together a research proposal. I'll do that in conjunction with the clerks and the convener. We can obviously bring that back to the committee if we want to approve it. It then goes to the convener's group for approval. We then get it back. We then draw up a specification, and then we put it out to tender. So the time scale, once all the formalities have been put through, I mean, you, you could be looking at three, four, five months, possibly, because we'd probably give researchers three months to do that kind of work. That's our experience in the past for doing literature reviews. So, 
once we jump through the hoops in the Parliament, it could be five months. Okay. Right. Any further comments from members before we decide what to do? No? I think, having heard through you, Kavina, from Spice, uh, I think um, the wisdom of undertaking a literature review which is focused uh, and is uh, not a long time scale, uh, three months, would be the way to proceed. Um, if that review suggested uh, further scope, then it would be at that stage that we would come back to it. Uh, if it did not, then it, uh, then it would not. So I think we should go for a three-month literature review. Uh, it keeps it tight, and then we can have a look at it again, uh, if, um, and if necessary, uh, further work can be undertaken. Okay. Just for clarification, we are presupposing the conveners group of the Parliament will actually approve the research work, uh, and I think it is only but fair to caution uh, the petitioner and the committee that this committee is making a re recommendation based on the SPICE uh, advice to try and carry this, or get the funding for this research review to, or review to take place. And as, as I said, just put it on record that it will be dependent on the conveners uh, group as well as other factors whether or not this research does go ahead, uh, just so that we do not build up any false expectation from the petitioners uh, and we get accused of all sorts of things in the future uh, by email or other, uh, other way. But I think, it, I think everybody's round tables agreed and the, the meeting, the, the informal meeting that we did hold was very extremely useful to allow us to get from SPICE in relation to how we could take this forward because clearly the other option is to go for a full-blown research project which may take years, not months, to actually complete. And I think the members that were at that meeting were keen to try and get something resolved as quickly as possible in relation to the petition, and so we could actually take it forward with the knowledge uh, that would allow us to argue, if need be, for the future research to be carried out, maybe not by this Parliament, but maybe by other authorities uh, who should be carrying out this type of research as a matter of course to determine what the prison population in Scotland is like at any particular point. Thanks, Robin. Okay. Robin. Uh, briefly, Convener, um, I, I have a feeling that a time scale of three months might be unnecessarily restrictive, and I, I, I would appeal for SPICE at least to be given the latitude of coming back to us during the first scanning of the available papers to say, actually, we might need a bit more time, because the initial calculation is on the three to five month scale. So um, let's, let's make sure that they can cover the field effectively. Okay, so we recommend that we take out the, the option of looking at our literature review, identify some issues that emanate from that, and may consider further exploration with the, the conveners group. And I recognise the expert on standing orders giving us guidance on that matter. So I accept his guidance. It keeps me on the straight and narrow. Okay, fantastic. Okay, thanks so much, Graham. Okay, so we continue this, and we will explore those issues. All right. Okay, next petition is 1106. It's by Jamie Webster. It is calling on the Scottish Parliament to urge the Government to review those aspects of the Stewart Committee report on keeping offenders out of court further alternatives to prosecution that relate to the rights of victims of crime to obtain information on the handling of the case. Um, again, we have had the petition in front of us before. Uh, views from members on how we wish to deal with this particular issue? Okay. Aaron, I think was it Aaron, was it? Or John? John, sorry. Okay. Sorry to confuse you. Okay. Okay, it's okay, convener. Uh, easily confused. Uh, just, convener, I think we need to continue with this petition because clearly there are issues in relation to the fact that.